My name is John Lozano and I work for Seattle Glass Monuments. We make glass headstones, countertops, tabletops, and anything that you can think of uh, in terms of your home projects we'll make out of glass. Uh, we sell regularly to Japan. It's probably our biggest client. Uh, we produce headstones for them. Uh, we'll go through a process of uh, preparing the glass. We clean it really well and then we have to break it up or cut it into shapes. We mix it together with the other colors that we're going to put into the piece and spread it into the, into the mold form. Uh, we always finish off the piece with loading a bunch of clear on the top so that it gives it the illusion, once it's uh, melted all together, it gives it the look of the glass sort of floating in stasis in a sort of frozen in time in liquid. Once we're done loading, uh, the kiln will close up and we will set a schedule into the kiln which will slowly bring the temperature up. Uh, over the course of about 48 hours, the temperature will rise to 1500 degrees and once it's there, the glass will, will fully melt down and fuse together. Once the glass is in our cold working area, I will grind down and polish the edges so that all of the imperfections are gone and the glass is smooth to the touch. I think our clients like the glass in their monuments because it, it offers something very different. So if you imagine yourself in a cemetery, maybe the sun is going down and all of the other monuments in the cemetery are starting to become silhouettes, the glass is going to stand out as it captures those last rays of the sun and becomes something that the granite just can't be.